They came to me a couple years ago and with the idea that they wanted to combine a science and math class. And they asked, is it possible? And I said, yes. And we're like, okay, well, we've got this room and we want to do it for a ninth grade academy. So we combined my geometry class with Hensel's uh, ninth grade earth science class. And so we spent the entire summer last summer uh, combining our two, uh, stand, our two sets of standards and aligning them up so that they'd fit well together. They wanted to make it like it was a 21st century, you know, one of those jobs that hasn't been created yet. And to give our kids the opportunity to just learn how to effectively collaborate with one another. You'll see some kids on the smart boards, you're gonna see some kids writing on the glass boards. You might see kids with pencil and paper. We got kids building, building things like our, our projects around in here, building physical models. You know, kids all over the place, there is a, a kind of a loud uh, classroom, I would say, but it's, it's a good loud. I mean, they're talking about math, they're talking about science, talking about how they work together. And right now, we're building uh, lunar space stations, and um, with the smart boards and Chromebooks, we have, there's a lot of research we have to do with them and there's a lot of information we have to find that we couldn't necessarily find in other classrooms when we don't have the internet access. Well, it makes me want to learn more, that we get more hands-on learning. We don't really have to like listen to the teacher all the time. He can teach it and we can actually do it instead of sitting there and watching like in every other class. That's the biggest thing. These kids want to do stuff with their hands. They want to play around with the technology. They want to create it so they can make it for themselves. They're more self-responsible and self-learners. And I think that by the time they got to the second, third, and now this is their fifth project, I mean, they don't ask us those kind of questions anymore, the how-to stuff, they just, they, just, they just do it. The importance of having a classroom like this is so that we can get the idea that the typical sit down, show a presentation, teacher talks, kids listen, we can kind of start to steer away and give these kids more of an education that they need in the sense that let's let them discover what they want to do. Let's, let's give them some guidelines, but we can still lead them to what they, they need to know, they want to know, they have to know. But if they do it in their own way, it's going to mean a lot more to them than what we could ever tell them. I think it just gives you so much freedom. Like, I mean, we have almost 50 kids in here and 50 different ways of learning, 50 different ways of doing things. They can do whatever they want, however they want, pretty much wherever they want. They know what they have to do and they, they get after it. And that's awesome for 14, 15 year olds to already be, be working that hard on stuff like that.